Welcome to Lost in Space. Hello guys and welcome back to Lost in Space. This is episode 5. Um, so we're going to head round. I want you all just to, in, uh, just to introduce yourselves to our listeners. So I am JP, I'm your host again today and let's see who we've got. So we're going to start this way and we'll, and we'll make our way round. Hey, I'm Grace. Yeah, let's start with that. Okay. A fact about myself is I have an unhealthy obsession with educational children's songs. With uh, educational children's songs? To be fair, horror... Yeah, I know, I'll give you that, because horror, horror history is a, is a great show. You also have an right? obsession with, like, Mackeys, too. Yeah. 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 So horror histories and Mackeys and, and like Mackeys and, and Mackeys is what you need to know about Grace. Very nice. Hello. Um, I'm the... Other live. Other live. Retaining live. Retaining live. Retaining live. Yeah, the retain of the retain of live. Episode um, five is a special. Oh. Um, and my fun fact is that I am related to the first settlers of Canada. Awesome. The very first ones. I'm uh, related to French that. settlers. Not French that. settlers. I've got like Spanish Zachary somewhere Keith, in there. Yeah, like, it's a name, that isn't it? Oh, it's a nice title, name. All right. Oh, I'm next. Yes, that gets that tends to work when it goes around. Um, I'm Ava, and um, oh yeah, I was taught to say this fun fact. Um, I did not know that Stephen Hawking died until two days ago. Where the, Where have you been? Where have you? How did you not know that you, that you only died two, two days ago? No, because I was all, I was on I was like on my phone, and then I saw this video of like a British pop culture moment, and it came up to Stephen Hawking died, and then the song I was like, what? He's dead, and I didn't know. Where have you been on? Where have you been, on, where, have, yeah, where have you been under the rock or something? <laughs> I, just, I thought he was still alive. I don't know. No. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Ava. All right. Um. Hi. I'm the better Jack. The better Jack. The yeah. Better. From previous podcast, the better Jack. Yeah. Um. Fun fact. I, I don't. I don't have a fun fact about myself. That's my fun fact. You gotta have something about yourself. Come on. Um, we all. We all have something fun about ourselves. Uh, fun fact is that. I guess I've been in cadets for like two and a half years. Cadets, nice. For school. Very nice, Jack. Okay, cadets. And our last one? Um, uh, hello, I'm Kayla. And a fun fact about myself is that I like to dance. You like to dance? Very nice. Well, because you, you just recently joined, haven't you, for dance? So you've, yeah. been, you've been in now for... I few think I've been in it since September. September, yes, a few months. Oh. Yeah, actually, yes, yeah, oh, yeah, actually, yeah. Because we've got Kayla, Grace and Liv have all recently just joined... Um, dance, haven't you? Well, we'll have you on for the next dance podcast. Then mm-hmm. we'll do that. Then okay. as a nice one. Um, so this week's episode, episode five, it's a bit of an important one because we're going to be talking about social media. Um, it, it's a big thing, especially now, and especially for, for young people, especially for you guys. I think you can't really do nothing without it being on social media, or uh, without it coming back to social media. Um, so the first thing that I want to ask you is. Um, out of all the social media things out there, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, all that, which one do you guys use the most? So I'm going to start with, with Grace on this one. Definitely TikTok or Snapchat, but probably TikTok. Probably TikTok. Yeah. Okay, nice. Liv? Um, TikTok or Pinterest? Tick, p- Pinterest, nice. I, yeah. love I, Pinterest. I, do, I do love her Pinterest, to be fair. Ava, when she stopped yawning? Um, TikTok. TikTok, okay. Jack? Um, probably YouTube's got like over 1,300 hours on it, just on like one device. Oh wow, okay. And Kayla? I like Snapchat the most. Snapchat, okay. Um, Liv, I'm going to have one, I think, for you first. So why Pinterest? Like, what, like, why is it you love using it? Pinterest is a magical place. Well, I like to draw and do okay. art. Yeah. And Pinterest has a lot of ideas that I can plagiarise. My little arty hand little can like art, grab yeah. at them and I'm like, oh, is loads, yeah. I'll use that in my sketchbook. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. I just find it very easy to access and it's free. So yeah, no, it is. It's it is no free, yeah. charge to me. It's Don't like Google, it, yeah. but better. But yeah, you, get more you find a lot more stuff on there. Yeah. Ideas from, yeah. yeah. All right. And Grace, so why, why TikTok? I've got a short attention span. You've got a short, att- yeah. short attention span. All right. So it's what? Harder. All right, so so when it comes to watching videos on TikTok because they're shorter, 
But what about this whole new thing where you can people can now make TikToks that last like could last like five to ten minutes? Well, I mean, like, would you sit and watch them, or is that too long for you? Depends what it is. What about if it's about the, like a, a fluffy cat? Maybe. 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 Okay. Ava, go on. Okay. Um, mine's TikTok as well because um, same as Grace, but also a moment like okay. I'll, I'll watch this last video and then I go off and I'm like, actually, let me just look at the video underneath this one just in case it's like something I like. And I'll just, I do that over and over again. <coughs> and how Grace has a short attention span. I do too. But do you know there's like carpet cleaning videos under those? I love them. Those. To be fair, I, yeah, I, I watch them a lot. I sit and watch them. Carpet yeah. It's one of my favourite things. Do you guys, for the ones you obviously use TikTok, and I mean, I hate it when I just went on find like a really cool video. I'm like, oh, I want to share that. But then I accidentally hit like refresh. And then you I know, you can go back and never see it, it again. Yeah. You, you can go back into your playbacks. Or you can. Um, There's a play. You, you is this a new know. fact? You can new search fact. up on the search bar and asterisks. And then you search it and it goes playback. And you just press it. And well, there you it shows go. Because I know it shows like yeah. all the stuff, obviously, like which you like, like which you can like, which you can head back and see. But I always forget to like it and then can't find yeah anything. so that's a little that's a little little fact for me then uh jack so why youtube um i mainly use it to watch the um like certain youtubers for um like i would have probably like the boys um three kids um dandy dumb stuff like that more prior but like the main people i really watch like always have like long videos you go to like haunted places like the conjuring house stuff like that mm. no not them the boys um <laughs> they do like Sometimes the video's like an hour long, or sometimes it could be like three, four hours long. So I just sit there and watch it while I'm doing stuff. Right, and, and then I what have you watch videos of like YouTube old YouTubers? Yeah, if you had to choose, like I think this goes to audience. Like, what would you guys say is like the most thing you watch on YouTube? What was the, the most thing? Yeah, Ava. Um, true crime. True crime, nice choice. To be fair, Steph- Grace. Stephanie Sue, oh. to be I agree. exact. Which. Stephanie Sue, also. Oh, that one. She's yeah. a podcaster. Does oh, nice. But um, right. I was going to say, it's either just YouTubers. Yeah, YouTubers. And stuff like that. Or if um, I watched a six hour long video about the downfall of um, Nicocado Avocado. So you've got a short, uh, you've got a short, yeah. a short attention span, yet you sit and watch something for six hours. I get intrigued <laughs> by weird things. Very nice. Um, Liv? Um. I watch an array of things. Um, see, I I have like different sections, so I'll get really into like horror games in one point, or get really into um, haunted places in another. And then most recently though, it's been like like twenty four hours in A and E and police interceptors and yeah, I watch that stuff like that. Yeah, uh, Kayla, what about you? What would you say for you? Well, I I normally watch like dance moms and stuff. Dance Real. To be fair, they are yeah, they are. I like them to be very funny. Me. That's got like so much drama in it though. That's is why it, it's fun. Is this the one with like, Abby Lee in it? That yeah. One? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got uh, so much drama in it. Yeah, were you gonna say something then? Um, yeah, I was gonna say like haunted, like going to haunted places. I absolutely love, and especially like if there's a group of them and they make it funny. So like the boys is like five, six of them sometimes. So they just make it funny. So it's not really scary. It's just, more, it's just more funny, more yeah. More comedy then, yeah. and it, it's absolutely amazing. I just love it. All right, uh, Kayla, you mentioned before that one of the most apps used is Snapchat. Why? I think like I like it because you can chat with your friends and you can just like schedule stuff and like to go off and yeah. stuff. What would you say when it comes to like when it comes to like social media apps to talk to your friends on? Which one? Like, what do you guys use the most to talk to friends to? Grace. Snapchat. Snapchat. Straight away or yeah. WhatsApp, but that's only for space. Would you guys say that like that Snapchat is the one thing you use most? To be fair. No. No. What do you use? I um yeah. I use Snapchat a lot now, but like I never used to have it, so I used to use um. Uh, the like Discord when that was a bit more popular yeah. or Discord or yeah, WhatsApp yeah. because um me and a friend we would call for like seven eight hours one day and then the yeah. next day we'd do the exact same and then the day after and we'd just be doing that for like weeks yeah. so we'd just that's I think probably just use up yeah. so much time. For I think what I think I think if we did if we if we had to choose the most common app used 
talking i would say whatsapp is the kind of it's the right now it's the kind of the did you know americans one. don't use whatsapp they don't use yeah. whatsapp yeah americans they're like WhatsApp. one of the only countries yeah. that do not use whatsapp they Which hate I, it i find really weird like it's because whatsapp is so it's brilliant it's genius it's so much easier than actual text because you can send more stuff on it yeah and you, you can actually mean? send images <laughs> and you can actually actually you can actually spend send images you can, well. yeah, you, you can send images, you yeah. You need um, data for it, though. This That's is the only a issue. No, you don't. You need Wi-Fi. You need Wi-Fi. Same difference. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, well, so well, when it comes to so- to social media, and especially if you got it, it's, it's important to... There's good things about it, but there's also bad things about it. Um, and I think we'll start with the good, but what would you say is, like, some of, like, like the the like the good things about, about, us, about social media? Grace? Um, I struggle with this, but I know for other people it really helps them make friends online. Matt, yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. I don't have friends online. It doesn't tickle me fancy, no. to be fair. Okay. Yeah. But I know people, other people. Do you use it to make friends? Yeah. 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 Liv? Um, I'd argue it gives like smaller artists and like musicians and all that better publicity, so yeah, it can really yeah. change people yeah. and change how their careers go. So. If you're a small creator and you have one video that blows up, it can change your life. No, it does. Yeah, it, you know, it just it takes that one video. Yeah, it's it's mind blowing yeah. how much one thing can change your entire well, I mean, career. A prime example of that Liv, is what we're doing right now with yeah. these these podcasts because it's going all on our our YouTube, our Instagram, our Facebook, all platforms. It's all on there. And Wait it, to get a plug in there. Like, yeah. That's it, that's so where, guess where this is going? It just it takes but at the same time that can have a negative effect because it does take one video to go viral and sometimes it can be not not a nice video of you i think that's what you've got to be uh like careful on Guilty. um Ava, i've just went to call you again grace because i was looking at grace again Ava. i'm just more memorable i thought this was gonna look like shots fired <laughs> go on grace no Ava, <laughs> that's done again um, Ava. there you go what was the question again? <laughs> so what's what's some of like the good things about um um so about social media? Some of the good things. Um Okay, give me a sec. Like what was the question again? Just anything good about okay. social media? It can like inspire you to do things. Cause, like, Inspiration, yeah, nice. Like how Liv said before about Pinterest. Like that actually got me into drawing too, because I'm I draw a little bit. I was like, that like inspired me yeah. to start drawing. Yeah, it's not good, very yeah. good, like, but you know, it's a magical place. There yeah. is magical place. More people need to use Pinterest. It they is do. underrated. Lo- the, the amount, the amount of like Marvel stuff and Star Wars stuff that I get from Pinterest. I've got an album on my phone yeah. that I saved with all the pictures from Pinterest, and I think I've got four hundred and sixty-five. Criminally underrated. I saved yeah. all kinds. I'm like, I'd be like, okay, I go on Pinterest for like two seconds, look for one image. Two hours later, hours, I'm on there yeah. and I've saved yeah, 60 I'll go. I'm, I'm looking for hours. one sketch idea and I'm sat there two hours later and I'm like, looking oh my god, kind, what's yeah. this? Yeah. All right, Jack. Um, it can help improve like a lot of people's mental health. So like, um, like a lot you can see a lot of people like doing game videos and um, some people can either do it for friends or just like do it for fun or if they're down and like the amount of people that can support you on it as well yeah. is just amazing. So like. You can let those odd couple of people that are not nice, but every well, the other nice comments just can overpower. Yeah. That's quite nice that, that that it helps with, me- with mental health. But I mean, would you guys agree with that? Um, and it can in some cases that it can in some cases. Okay, yeah, so it's like not what? All the time like what? Because I've had some like bad cases before. Yeah. Other people most likely have as well. So all right, so where? Just gonna say, I'm gonna argue now. Where in social media can it can it help mental health? Grace. You can. Um, with social media, there's like people to talk to. People to talk to, so yeah. So like, if you've got a friend who's like not in your area, and like you need to talk to them, or maybe a therapist. Some people have therapists online. Yeah, no, they do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think you're right in that sense. <coughs> and it, it can help. Oh, cause you know, I mean, like, um, like seeing videos like online, which might like inspire you, and that might make you feel. You might be having like a bad day. It's like videos where I like just open TikTok and it's just like someone, you are amazing. And I'm like, yeah. It's like, oh, thank you. I just needed that. Yeah. Kayla, I mean, would you agree? 
that and that you can help mental health. Yeah, I think that like if you like can talk to someone on it. Yeah. All right. Um, we talked about some things that are good, and I think it's but it's also important that, that we talk about what's bad on on social media. Um, and I think yeah, all right, yeah, comes a lot of grace. Cyberbullying. Cyberbullying, yeah. I've, it's a I massive thing. Yeah. Do you guys think because that has increased within young, like when it comes to like young people, I think a lot of young people find themselves being targeted more online than they do mm. in real life. Would you guys say that it's more more hateful with things that 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 can be said online? Grace? Um, definitely. Yeah. Um, because people are behind a screen. I know it sounds cliche, but when you're not face to face, someone they'll say anything they want. They'll be like. You're, you're this, you're that, but then the moment, if you know them in real life, you walk up to them, you went bat an eye, or even if you don't know them and it's just like in comment section, yeah. then they won't try sort it because they don't have to, they can just leave you on there. Mm. You don't have to acknowledge it because they're behind a the phone. Do you guys believe that when it comes to online and social media that it's more, with it being quite, with it being the fact that it's more accessible, young people are being targeted more by other young people that they can use online more because like obviously like say Grace that, that they hide behind the screen and they think that because they can hide behind the screen that they can they can say what they want and I think that's one of the things when it comes to like Snapchat or um, Facebook or Instagram people can just say what they want and it's it, it's not nice to have that you can't know yet you're right Grace yeah like, I mean like you can't stop them you can't walk away yeah Jack on that point it's like like someone can spend hours or days or even like years doing something and all it takes is for um, one mean or horrible comment yeah. and it can just put you off doing that thing that you love enjoying. 100% yeah. And it could it can really knock people's confidence to the point of doing really harmful things. Yeah. To themselves. Like, like don't know, yeah, like that. So Liv, let's say so you put a Jordan up on your on your Instagram and you've got all these like lovely comments about it but then someone you one get you, you get one bad comment how would that make you feel? It ruins your mood because you then forget about all the good comments and you only focus on that one bad comment. Oh, that one bad comment made me feel awful. I'm never going to draw again. There's one more passion gone from the world. Yeah. It ruins. It, one comment can ruin people's lives. It can lives. ruin people's lives, yeah. And whether that's online or like offline, I think yeah. same with you, Kayla. Say if you put up a video like, like, like of you doing a dance, and people comment on it saying really nice things, and then one person says something bad. How would that make you feel? It would like make me like lose me like passion for it. Yeah. Right. And so to I, it it's more hateful when you see that one comment. But should we focus on just that one comment? No. Like, like if you get a hundred, like you get a hundred comments to all these nice things, shouldn't you just focus on that? But we don't. It's Why? hard to. Why? Why is it hard to? Because humans are naturally self-critical. And if someone brings up the fact that you've done something bad, like if you've done a bad at something, then the brain will turn around and go, oh, he's just Cause... saying what I actually yeah. think. So humans are naturally going yeah. to be critical of others and mostly themselves. Yeah. So it's know. a natural yeah. reaction. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes though you should like, I know it might sound bad, but like acknowledge some of the bad things because maybe they don't mean it in a harmful way. Like sometimes some people can yeah, mean it. Constructive as criticism. As yeah. yeah, some people can mean it to like help you improve but on that subject. That's harder when you see it online though, isn't yeah. it? Because trying to read it, it. You can tell the way yeah. someone's saying it, but online it's all, it can all just be one thing. You can never tell. Yeah, and it's all, it's, yeah, and it's nothing, yeah, and it's like sometimes it's a lot when you're, we should like it is important to look at the good and the bad because it might just be someone might just make a comment or just trying to help us improve but we don't see it that way and i think grace and I, I know you've got a story on that when you know you put up was it a picture of, of yourself yeah and you got loads of nice you got loads of lovely comments but then the minute you seen a few like ones that were bad you and that it, that instantly brought you down wasn't it yeah I posted a TikTok of, it was like two photos, one of them was me like what, two, three years ago, then one of them was me now, with like my natural hair, like quite curly, and then um, in the comments people weren't being nice about my hair, 
and you be and me the next day I showed up to space with straight hair and you and Josh <laughs> were like did you do this because of the TikTok and I was like no I didn't mm, which you did yeah but that's, uh, again comments like that can have an effect where we then want to change our, our whole entire look and that's you know th that's not necessarily a nice thing is it yeah um, that's something like that's happened to me before when I made an edit of I made an edit and it took me like um, two to three hours um, to do it and it, I like I loved it at first but then <laughs> after I posted you got live having a cough a bit over there <laughs> after I posted it and then seeing the bad comments it made me hate it myself to the point where I don't let family see it if I'm around because I just hate it so much and it really put me off and it actually put me off that much that I haven't made an edit since like two years ago when I posted it Really? Yeah, I, I just don't anymore. It's really just put me off. See, but don't you think that we should, and it's important that we shouldn't let one nasty it comment put us me. down? Is that the we. The whole comment section. Yeah. The whole that's what it comment Yeah, but like. that's, yeah. But it genuinely was. There was not one nice thing in there apart from family. Yeah, Everyone but. Everyone else was you, just But let's, I mean, if you fall down, you you just got to get back, back. You just got to get, like, uh, back up again. And that's whether we make a few more edits and make a few more videos until we get there where we think, you know what? don't care what they think i know it's good and i'm gonna put put that out there and it's important that we would that you know how, and how we remember that and i think that kind of goes on to the next question like do we think it's more important to have like a presence online than there's offline live um no okay. i think that having an offline presence is well it's more important than having an online one because your offline presence is your life. You are actually physically there. In an online presence, yes, it can be important to have, but it should not be your soul life that is yeah, unhealthy. No, yeah, yeah. And it's not good for your mental health either. Yeah. Whether it's you're an influencer and your whole life is based on taking pictures of yourself and what you're doing, you still have another life to that. You have your private life, your personal life, where you've not got cameras following you, and that is more important to you and keeping your body and your mind healthy than it is to keep viewers happy. Yeah, that's my opinion. Yeah, Jack. Yeah, said. Um, <laughs> my job. Just <laughs> slightly against that, but some people don't really. Some people prefer their online life than it, like offline because some people might not like their offline life. Uh, at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so that you're like saying so they're on the online is the is their escape. Okay. Yeah, so the like online life is their escape. escape from reality, which can then improve their like mental health than their offline life. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Which and there's the case in some it cases, but on the situation that you're in. Okay. Okay. Live. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I have to bring it <laughs> on. Um, with that though with their entire online life being their life even if their offline life isn't good um it ruins their mental health either way so being online creates a false reality for yourself and yes it's fun to escape to that but when someone inevitably pulls the plug and you've been drawn out of that online persona you're just left with absolutely nothing if you create your whole life based around the internet and I was an internet kid. I grew up completely and solely based around the internet. I had problems on the internet. I loved the internet. It was a bit. Yeah. It was a big thing. There's always but at some point we've we've you've got to come back yeah. to this reality. There is a there is a point where it becomes dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is a point where like you develop an ill like mental illness because you can't differentiate reality from online. Online yeah. and it's. It's genuinely, it's dangerous to be solely based online. Mic drop. Yeah, mic door. drop again. Come out the door. Um, Ava? I had the dinner. Yes, she did. That's why, that's why I'm coming to you. And I didn't call you Grace this time. Okay. Um. <laughs> Liv's having a coffee fit again. <laughs> the third time now. <laughs> we all good? Oh, I've been trying yeah. not to, you know. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Ava. Like, well, what Jack said, um, that's true. This this does sound cliche, but it is actually true. Because you've got, like, one life, and then you're just 
oh, I'm just going to stay on the internet. I'm not going to do anything. And if you, you know, if there's something going on at home and you don't like your home life, instead of being on the internet for, like, most of your life, you can, like, go outside. That sounds like, like, no. No, I, mean, I know, it, no, yeah, it no, it is, like but, yeah, I know. Like, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Go hang out with yeah. your friends more. Go to Mackey's. Oh, Mackey's. Because yes. Mackey's. Start. <laughs> well, like, you know, just, like, do so. And instead of sitting in your room for, like, technically, like, wasting your life, instead yeah, of okay. just, like, go outside. Yeah. But, yeah. I think, do you know what I think? I, 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 it'd be nice to see what you guys think of this. Do you guys, like, say if you go to, to like, a restaurant and you're waiting to eat, but then... Or you're waiting for like like for a t- t- like um a tail or someone, but the person who's in front of you is just spending twenty minutes like taking pictures of the food and sit there head and like not eating, just taking pictures of the food. I That's one thing that drives me mad. I'm like, cause when I get food, I'm like, no, I'm, I just want to eat it, I just want to enjoy it. Grace. I have multiple photos of my delicious mackies meals on my. Why camera. does that not surprise you, mackies? I with you? don't take over a second to eat that. I will take a photo through my Snapchat story. And then, then after gone. that, it's in my belly. Fair enough. Liv? I'm also guilty of taking photos of food, but I have a rule. For Pinterest. <laughs> it's not for Pinterest. <laughs> I wish. Um, the, I will only take photos of food if it is prepared fancily. So I went to Poland. To be fair, I went I get to that a fancy now. restaurant. It's like Mackey's. I will only Mackey's take a photo of food nice. if, if it's it prepared looks nice. Cool. Do you honest? No, do you know what? Yeah, okay. Because like no I'll one's ever gonna believe one. me. Yeah, hey, K- K- Kayla, what about you? <laughs> like, what about you? Yeah, I mean, like, would you say like, I mean, like, would you spend time taking p- pictures of food before you eat it, or would you just just eat it? No, I would take the pictures and then I would eat it. Yeah. Do we think that it's imp- why do why do you feel the need to show people like what like what we're eating? Why is that? Why is that a thing? I can see. See, I know you're waving, but Ava was like right up there. So go on, Ava. This is for the question before that, because you skipped me and Jack, actually. Oh, I yeah. do apologise. <laughs> wow. Um, don't. Shame. Yeah, wow. Right, okay, shame. Grace. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> Go on, Ava. <laughs> uh, but, like, how everyone's taking pictures of the food. I'm just thinking, it's my food. I'm not taking a picture of it. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> like, just going to eat it, yeah. Like, I'm going to eat my food. I'm it's not nice. Gonna, I'm not going to waste my food getting cold for, like, you know, two seconds to take a picture. It's no, not like... I'm right in there. It's not like taking that one picture will allow us to, like, eat it again. It, it, it does though. It just it, it it's gone. You have less time to eat. Of you and Mackey's, yeah. Delicious <laughs> chicken nuggets. <laughs> chicken oh nuggets. God. Yeah. Um, I've only ever took a picture of my food once, and it was just for me to keep because I don't know why, but I just went to a restaurant and they served us our food. In and it like just looked really nice. In this sandcastle bucket. You know, now you're gonna have and to show us this photo. Yeah, you can keep the bucket. It's not on this phone. Keep it's the on bucket. my old phone. That broke. Oh, yeah. You could keep Where's this? I want to go and get a free bucket. I don't remember where it was, but... You know oh, what? Josh. I feel like I've been to that restaurant. Uh, Is I it in Liverpool? Yeah, I think it was in town. I want a free bucket. I feel like I know where... I know, I know where you're on about. Is, I don't yeah. know what it's called, but I know where he's on. Yeah. Oh, come I on, Lee, you got to know what it's called. Like a pirate birthday. restaurant. Yeah, it was. And you used to get, like, when I was little, you used to get, like, little treasure chests of yeah. food. Yeah, and chips it, come in the treasure chest. Yeah, oh, my God. It was amazing. Magical. I went for my birthday. It was so good. Everyone's missing out. Everyone's missing out. Yeah, yeah. That time. Go on, Grace. I feel the need to post my delicious Mackey's meals online to show people I'm better. I have <laughs> like a superiority <laughs> of eating Mackies. Oh my god! <laughs> of all things if to show. If people lived life like mine and had Mackies that much, oh my god, I would be so happy in life. Yes, but I think that I, I mean that, that goes to a whole different podcast of that Mackies is not exactly healthy, is it? I, I feel like we're going back to the food podcast. Say, yeah. <laughs> I know that the methane gas from the cows being slaughtered, but we are just so I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, you You're can't... You're talking about chicken nuggets and now we're on to cows. I mean, you can't... I mean, Do you, you know your farm animals? You, you can't not enjoy Mackey's at the end of the day. Oh, I think really? Mackey's, is, Mackey's is one of them foods where it is I've just nice. I've enjoyed Mackey's nice. before. I do I know have. people who do not like Mackey's. They gave me a cheeseburger without cheese. Three times. So you've got, so you got I a I had this friend. Sorry, yeah. we're completely off topic now, but... <laughs> it was just... It's too funny not to mention. So my... One of my good friends, he ordered... A burger with no pickles and le- no lettuce or something, right? His food came, it had pickles, right? It did not have the bun. It was just, <laughs> just the beef and pickles. Yes. 
He's gonna and he was, that. And he was so confused and it was the funniest thing when he told me because I was like, how can you get a Mackey's order that wrong? What do we think is the most important thing to put online? Like, so, okay, so... so I mean, moving food, on. I know from food and all that. No, but it, it's going on from food. Like, I, I do we think it's more important to put pictures of what we eat, pictures of what we do, places we see, or of, like, of ourselves? What's, what would you say is more important? I'm going to start this way first. So I'm going to go to you, uh, Kayla. What would you... Like, for you, what's the most important thing to, like, to post online, would you say, for you? I would say food. Food? Okay. Why, f- why food? Don't I have to, like... Like holidays or yourself, why? Well, like, on when you do when like, like posting the food, then like people can see like how nice it is. Oh, fair enough. Would you stop coughing? Who oh was coughing? God. Was that you? I'm I don't know. I don't know if that was your <laughs> grace because you were both coughing at one point. Yeah, very nice, Jack. Okay, so like helps and help and tips and tricks on stuff. So like I go to skate okay, park nice. a lot. So I like to record myself when I'm on the skate park doing stuff. I know it sounds, might sound a bit like weird, but I do. No, it's fair, yeah. And I don't think it, yeah. it'll be so good for people that like to learn the tricks that I can do for me to post it and help them. That's my, I, I like that, Jack. Yeah, go on. Uh, Ava, I want to, I want, again, I just want to call you Grace again. Grace. Okay, I'd say. Go on, Ava. I'd say, like, mostly, on my Instagram, I'm never, like, on Instagram. I'm never on Instagram. So, I, when I am, I, like, post pictures of, like, my friends and all that. Like, me and my friends in the schoolyard, uh, we, like, take photos and, like, yeah. Are these, are these friends I real? Can other people see yeah. them? Um, actually, I have imaginary met. friends. Right there. I was she here. Was in it. She was yeah, in it. Yeah, I'm a friend, surprisingly. Wow. Wow. Oh, <laughs> going back wow. to the chronically online thing. Are you okay? I can only see his head though. What? I can only see his head. Because he's slouched down. No. So comfy. Look what he's um, wearing. What, what he isn't wearing. His he's camouflage. in camouflage. <laughs> and the boots. Oh, it's yeah. just a head and boots. And arms. And arms. A head and boots Good and arms. Good God, what is that? He's fully camouflaged in army gear. Yeah. Go on, Ava. So I'd say it's like, I just press like friends. my friends and all that. Yeah, like, okay. Yeah. Liv? Ah. Uh, we're going round. <laughs> I don't post. No? That okay, much. Fair, fair enough. Okay. Um, I feel like for me, it would be music and getting myself out there and okay. just doing it as much as I can. So if I had that possibility to blow up, like I said in um, earlier, I would. Yeah, right. Very nice. Okay. Here we go. Grace. The most important thing for me to post. Can we all take a guess first? <laughs> Well, actually, wait. It starts with an M, but it's not McDonald's. Well, it is McDonald's. But it's you? Not McDonald's. <laughs> so you it's not my. So it is Mackey's then, isn't it? It's <laughs> me. Memories. Memories. Okay. Nice. Mostly McDonald's. McDonald's, 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 say memories. Yourself. McDonald's yeah. memories. Ooh, but a bit of alliteration. Like friends and like mm. uh, events, or if I'm on my way to okay. space, I'll post on my story. Go to space. Just like for fun. Yeah. I thought you were so just making memories. Mackey's memories and friends. Yeah. That's all you need. That is the, that could be the title of our next episode. That that's going yeah. in my bio. That's, that's, that's oh my god, Mac- um, that's going Mackie's in my bio. Friends and memories. Do, like you want, do you want the little dash and live? Yeah, dash live. Da- yeah. <laughs> I will live twenty twenty four. I'm not even I'm not even <laughs> like having a laugh here. I will after this. <laughs> right. I love that. I think I if you that. guys were to give, let's say, a person was was just starting off on social media, if you had to give them like like some advice on social media. So just before we end it, like, what advice would you give to a person who's just coming into um, social media? Don't. Don't? Okay, no, fair enough, yeah. Liv? It was so abrupt. Like, <laughs> mic drop. She's gone. <laughs> mic drop, don't. Out the door. Grace is gone. Um, I use that as an excuse to cough, guys, <laughs> so I'm not interrupting anyone. Um, don't put everything out there all at once. Give it your all, think, Yeah, but no, I think that's important. Don't give it your all, but don't there. give it. You're all. Yeah, right, I like that. Uh, Kayla? I would say, like, just be careful and, like, be aware of what people can say. What people say, yeah, nice. Jack? Don't take everything to heart. Don't take everything to heart, I like that. And also, nice one. like, if you want to post about, like, your life or, or yourself, do it. 
but just be aware that there are some cruel people in the world and they they can find you yeah i believe that there are some things we shouldn't put that some things we shouldn't put online because some things we should just just have to ourselves just have their memories of just where it's just rather than the whole world kind of um seeing it um we're just gonna uh liv's having another sure. coffee fit there so we'll just have a little there. There we go. Get it all. Get it all out, Liv. <laughs> I hate you all so. Um, so um, it's been a really nice episode, guys. Um, I haven't talked about uh, about um, social media. Uh, we always end every podcast with a random fact, um, and this one I, I quite like, and it might cause a little bit of of a debate and some arguments. But water is not wet. <gasps> Oh, oh, we, never knew that. <laughs> we definitely didn't plan this before. Lives, lives, lives coughing again. Do you need some water? <laughs> no, it's well not wet enough. <laughs> right, well, thank you very much, guys, and thank you for taking part in episode five, five of the podcast. Bye. Thank you very much, guys. Signing out. And welcome to Lost in Space.